Okay, moving into our next speaker, we've got uh, Stephen from Harmony Protocol. And uh, hey, Stephen, good to see you. Hey, thank you. And uh, you. you're going to talk to us about scaling Ethereum applications using Harmony? Let's do that. That sounds like a good topic. Um, if you can save us from the gas fees, we'd all be ha we'd all be happy. That's the whole idea. <laughs> thank you, John. I know that's why I let in with it. So uh, we'll look forward to hearing what you have to share with us. Thanks. Take it away. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Um, it's great to be here. My name is Stephen. I'm the founder of the project Harmony. We really, really excited to hear to tell you how these three years has been to talk about where we started thinking about the sharding problem and then the proof of stick problem, all the way to what we are excited this year to be talking many of the Ethereum developers, thinking about the gas fees, thinking about what is the future of scaling. And I want to spend a little bit of time talking about what is the future of all these chains and all these applications in different ecosystems and coming back to the cross-chain finance that we are working on. Um, for those who have been knowing us uh, since three years ago, and um, here's an update what we have been busy last year. Uh, the exciting thing is we really launched uh, one of the key milestones of our project called Open Sticking. Open Sticking really is the concept that Ethereum 2 has been understanding would be the key to transit from proof of work to proof of stake. Doing that in the context of sharding, doing that in the context of uh, multiple validators, we are very excited to be one of the first blockchain to have thousand validators and delegations and making the whole slashing work, making the whole few change work is, is, uh, is really a breakthrough that we have been busy for more than a year. We also spend lots of time doing the regulations and com compliance. Our team is uh, mostly based on Silicon Valley in US. We take compliance very seriously. So listing in a major exchange in US has been a key milestone for us to be integrated with the fiat gateway, looking, working with the Coinbase or Setter uh, API to bring the next level of um, uh, integration with the market. But then the summer has been crazy. We know that it was invincible for many of the DeFi applications on Ethereum to be um, prospering. So we, during the summer, we also spent lots of time looking at the DeFi applications, why the gas fee is so high, why is the trash really happening? In particular, we forked many of the DeFi applications, including Balancer, Uniswap, uh, and play with many of the Aave working on Harmony. The key idea is, can the application be just migrate, if not just fork on another Ethereum compatible chain? And we'll talk a little bit more about that, what we have done so far. The last part is the Ethereum bridge. We all know that the ecosystem developer asset are all on Ethereum. But can it be scaled from a layer two perspective with a bridge? Um, we came up with a fly client design architecture so that not only we are able to have the scaling on uh, Harmony, but we, we are able to bridge it with the Ethereum in a trustless way, in a gas efficient way. So today I'm going to talk a lot more about this milestone, but also what we are looking forward to work with many of the developers here at ETH Denver. But what's so special about Harmony? Why? sharding and sticking are still the key milestones that both Ethereum and many of the um, protocols are going for. Well, to begin with, we are able to achieve two second finality, not just block time, not just about how we need multiple confirmations, but many of the financial transactions really need final confirmation for us to know some of the large transactions will just go through, it really only require one block confirmation. Why that is possible is with sharding, finally you can divide up the 
um, blockchain validators into about 250 validators for Harmony so that we can really run a faster consensus within the shard. So with the one block confirmation, the application not only feel fast, we really is at the speed of Web2 so that the user doesn't need to wait. And it's the whole concept of like, we know that it works now with Ethereum with many applications, but can it replace day-to-day -day applications, both for financial application, but also for web applications that the user get used to. And for us, the key idea is running a product, running a mainnet people can use and develop from, from very early on. Even within the year of the project to start, we launched the mainnet with shards, with cheap fees, so that we can experiment people actually not just talking about a white paper, a research concept, but can actually come together with our validators, hundreds, thousands of them that actually play with different um, protocol um, uh, innovation and development at the same time. So some of the key innovations that we have done are having aggregated signature with the BLS signature scheme so that the message that we pass around during the consensus is really constant size. We are the first chain to actually put view change in production. If people know B, um, uh, 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 fast um, PBF, uh, uh, um, PBFT, um, we actually is the first one to implement both delegation and slashing. So it allow us to experiment with many of the sticking scheme. We actually try the quadratic voting way. We talk about the medium stick so that the top sticker would never get centralized. The bottom would also have the support of um, uh, enough stake so that they wouldn't be apathetic to the governance and earning enough stake to stay in the network. We really envision this scheme to be supporting hundreds, if not thousands of uh, validators, validators so that it really is as decentralized as Bitcoin and Ethereum. But today is all about Ethereum, Ethereum applications. How do we scale in terms of the transaction, but also in terms of the gas fees, but also bridge with this asset? is what I here to talk about today. In particular, many of the layer two roll-ups, um, sidechain solutions, the key part to all of this is, are they compatible with Ethereum? Are they compatible with the application? Are they compatible at the bytecode level? Many of you know that there are many applications on Ethereum before, but the key part is, can they easily migrate to another Scaling solutions without doing lots of development work, but also security audit, security analysis. So at the bytecode code level, compatibility is going to be very key so that you are not just about developing another application. You don't need to recompile. You don't need to worry about bytecode code um, security that you got attacks because you have another overflow because this transpiler doesn't work. We love web assembly toolings. But at the same time, how do we allow these application developer that are very familiar with Solidity to deploy right now, today, is what we are enabling. So Harmony is not only Ethereum, EVM um, uh, as our core uh, running in our node, but now we also integrate it with MetaMask, Web3, Truffle. So all of these will be, you just need to change your chain ID and it will just work. Isn't it wonderful to have that level of integration so that user doesn't need to download another wallet. They have to change the endpoint. User can benefit from everything that Ethereum have developed so far, both the toolings, both the um, portals, um, uh, wallets, so that they will just be useful for any of the developers coming in, any of users already have used the Ethereum to, uh, ecosystem. And this year is all going to about layer two solutions roll ups. And we are very excited and we are studying it too. Understanding what validity proves the way that ZK Singh have done compared to roll up solutions like optimistic 
um, uh, fraud proofs, is what we are studying. Can we be allowing this solution to have faster withdrawals? We know the importance of data availability on Ethereum, but then the withdrawal process and then the compilation process is just as important. So if you're interested in that topic, talk to us. We are working with projects that really key in solving this problem. But what do we want to build now? Who can we really help to deploy the applications? Our key focus is the decentralized finance, DeFi, everyone knows that. But can we build a cross-chain finance on this? What, what, why DeFi project will come to Harmony? Why now, instead of waiting um, Ethereum 1.5 roll-up solution to be ready or Ethereum 2 to be ready, is because there are lots of applications that are not possible on Ethereum that we want to enable today. Everyone knows the gas fees. Um, it's not just the whales uh, paying $100,000 um, and paying $100 fees. We really want everyone to have access to all these applications now, to experiments, to participate, and that we see also applications that are not possible that people only run on testnet for Ethereum that we would love to be part of the solutions. It goes without saying that our chain is fast, our gas fees are low, but what applications should run on Harmony today? In particular, we saw many um, experiments in the device space that actually want to think about the concept of pooling. Pooling in the sense that you actually have a community or a group of people DAO, um, a portfolio that bring the assets together. You actually want to balance the portfolios. You want, the, let's say, the yearn vault to be putting out the dividends and paying out the rewards daily, earlier anyway. So this kind of grouped together, we are doing an amazing effort on Ethereum with the uh, vaults, with the uh, yearn, we pull together all of the things, can be done on chain, can be done even faster with cheaper fees. But everyone is asking for the settlement back to Ethereum. That's why we need the bridge. When we have the faster chain like we do, we'll be able to play with market maker, far more sophisticated on chain with faster uh, granular um, Oracle data feed so that the economics attack when the Oracle and the price change in our place will be and the price change in our place will be a lot faster to recover. In particular, many of these market makers, they don't want to get exposed when the market change but they are getting congestion when they need to update the parameters, when they need to deploy contract, when they need to monitor it. It has to happen to allow not just the traders, but the entire ecosystem of finance infrastructure to be happening on the chain. The key point is we can always bridge it with Ethereum as a settlement. We can always balance it. There will be arbitrage with the Ethereum to, to connect with it to have a cross-chain transaction with it. We also see the opportunity of all these pig tokens, like all these stable coins. It is surprising how many US dollars in the world right now on different financial system. There are like tens of US dollars, um, both synthetic, but also for different issuers, on different chains, on different protocols that these are all arbitrage opportunities that is already happening both on Ethereum and all these chains, but how can we allow more liquidity so that people are not getting hacks and getting um, wiped out in the pools and vaults just because uh, the infrastructure doesn't work, just because all these um, vaults and transactions couldn't go through because of the network we see me, many more, maybe hundreds of stable coins in different regions, different countries happening in coming months and years. Can we have an infrastructure to support all of them? So today I wanna to say Harmony wanted a better decentralized exchanges.
for all these cross-chain assets so that can be settling with Ethereum but work with different chains and different assets. In particular, we want more efficient market makers so that traders are comfortable making the liquidity for all these stable coins so that people are not seeing of the volatility. Market makers are part of the ecosystem for a good reason to facilitate all these transactions. But we also love all these innovation in digital arts today. All these branded assets and fun generator arts and online community that want to experiment with different game mechanics is also a great way for us to think about we have games, we have arts. Can there be a community that have incentives? And it will really come to the financial aspect very soon because having the middleman, having the community, having a community, having values, the financial part will come naturally. In particular, many of the partners uh, for us already ask that they want to do an airdrop campaigns to bootstrap the community. They want to enable trading for their asset in the games, in the, in the generated um, uh, uh, values uh, among the games or community. Can we have different experiments, how we actually launch all these games, but also a new community? How to have low fees for all this art is crazy. You cannot ask moms and pops to play with all these arts and games if we ask for tens of dollars just to, um, to be participating. So we also see that the derivatives of all these assets in terms of lending, in terms of borrowing to be displaying in uh, maybe maybe in uh, virtual events already happening. And our partners already make a great launch to be playing um, with the sticking with uh, with an asset. In particular, we launch it with the Animoca brands with a popular um, Beast Quest games so that they will be part of the car sales to support the sticking. We think it's going to ha happen a lot. All they ask is, can it be part of the EVM uh, ecosystem? Can we settle it back to Ethereum if people choose to? Can we have the NFT marketplace? All possible now. So what we wanted today to ask you guys is, if you have a community that actually want to experiment with arts, different game mechanics to launch games, maybe you already have a game that you are thinking about how to participate in all this digital economy, we are ready to help you guys to launch it. But why all these bridges? Um, what do we see this year happening? What is Harmony's roadmap? We already have a Ethereum bridge that actually help people to do settlement back to uh, Ethereum. We are testing the on the te uh, testnet of a trustless bridge that we don't even need any of the trusted parties in the way, but still just allowing smart contract. Can we put all these bridge on smart contract is what we're experimenting with. To be able to play with the proof of work, with the proof of stake, on fly clients, something that Zcash, as well as one of the top research paper, to figure out the light client way to connect two chains is our best research. It came out at the end of last year to think about how we use light client for bridges that will connect with many other bridges that we want to do. In particular, how to think about to connect with the Binance Smart Chain, Cosmo, and Polkadot. It's going to be the key topic this year for many of the blockchain, not just looking at their own ecosystem, not just fighting with the Ethereum developers, but it is really the eventual goal of the all the blockchain to connect. What's the point of developing another financial system if we don't talk to each other? By, uh, uh, Bitcoin is also the king elephant in the room that to me, to Harmony, is just the start of really developing a wrapped BTC for lending, but in a non-custodial way, in an open source way. 
we see WBTC, REN, um, uh, BTC all really gaining traction because there's a strong need for all the liquidity to be able to use for lending, for, for wrapped asset to provide the liquidity. The demand is there. But is it going to be open source? Is it going to be non-custodial? Can you participate? Can it be cheaper? Can the withdrawal time be much, much shorter? Is where the innovation is. And Harmony already published the research paper. It's already working with the best architecture partners to make it happen. So hopefully you can join us to experiment with all these bridges, not just looking beyond Ethereum, but really looking at this as a fintech revolution for all of us to work with each other. Most of all today, we want to talk to developers. Um, we're very excited to be giving keynote speech um, in many of the events, but also participate as judge speaker. We just host a workshop two days ago to talk about the technical part of the bridge and deploying of a Ethereum uh, application on Harmony without much change, changing the chain ID. We finished the um, bridge hackathon to ask developer to think about what kind of applications on the on on our bridge but the bridge is just the uh, infrastructure we asked them what kind of cross-chain application they can come up with and we were very excited to work with like 20 like really industry leaders as our judge putting out fifty thousand dollar prices just earlier um, this month to tell them that these are the right direction to build applications can you use um, more than one chain, but also call Afe, work with different applications in different chain? Can you borrow money from Afe? Can you do flash loan across chains? Can you have the NFT in one um, ap ap applications and then integrate it? with use in, diff in different for lending is what we are really interested this year. How to think about liquidity among L2, Layer 2, and, and Ethereum. How to think about um, um, different ecosystem of Polkadot coming up and be able to work with them. It's going to be very exciting for developers to, uh, to connect all the applications, to compose all the um, uh, like different innovations in different chains. Coming to East Denver is really something that we've been doing the last two years, but this year we are we are more excited to be bringing Ethereum developers to just like to just deploy without much change. We have signed up for six more like global hackathons with Gitcoin. We're very excited about the way they think about the bounties. We have we are we have allocated major resources. Uh, but also articulating how Gitcoin and uh, Ethereum uh, uh, ecosystem to think about developers can participate. So what Harmony wanted is developers to think about what crossing application is composing with multiple applications, whether it's going to be aggregator, whether it's going to be about um, the portals that are already working with all these applications to think about use, to think about um, cross-chain um, asset. We already have many of the fiat gateway as a layer one, but can um, developers make use of all these uh, different assets in different chains uh, and uh, Ethereum is what we are excited about. <clears throat> uh, hey, John. Yeah, I don't see you from just my note. Um, so, but community also loved, uh, um, uh, also loved the, um, uh, this uh, program. So we have these um, campaigns to do more tutorials. Um, so please check us out if you want to know more about, we really want to get more regional FKs for creating us. But if John allow me to talk about one last slide here, is really the whole idea that we have these grants for all these new ideas that Ethereum 3 is experimenting, whether cryptographic primitives or even oracles. Think, help us to think through the cross-border finance um, and the fiat integrations that radical markets is really going to be coming. So the very last slide is just all the content for um, the developers and the roadmap. We really want to work with you guys 
Um, coming back to talk to John, um, I thought I have a few more minutes, but uh, most important of all, we're just very impressed of how the Ethereum Denver has always been the experiment experiment experimental uh, playground. So great to be here today. Uh, thank you, everyone. Yeah. Thanks, Stephen. Wonderful presentation. Uh, yeah, grants programs are seemingly very common nowadays. So if you're interested in doing, you know, cross bridge grants and all those, check out Harmony. Come to their booth and the gamer job experience in the virtual castle. Yeah. Uh, check out their bounties, and uh, we're very grateful for the support. Thanks for coming, Stephen. We'll uh, we'll see you in the ether space. Thank you again. Thank you, John. You Great to it. be here. Thank you.